Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to paint the gate from Spirited Away in watercolor. I edited together a quick reference image to give myself a sense of the composition and lighting. Before I start painting, I wet the entire paper first to make sure all the colors will softly blend together. For this first layer, I'm essentially painting the sunlight, so I'm using very bright yellows and green. To evoke a sense of these light rays, I make my brush strokes generally in the same direction. After the first layer dries, I can add in some details. While painting in these trees, I keep in mind where each light ray is by using slightly lighter colors within the rays and darker colors around them. I also use a balance of painting on both wet and dry. Near the edges of the leaves, I want the sunlight to brightly shine through each gap, so I paint on a dry area to have the shapes clearly defined. Near the shadows of the leaves, I want the leaves to appear more as a collective, so I paint on a wet area to let the colors blend together. Even though we know the spirit gate is red, we cannot just use red when we paint it. Because the face of the spirit gate is sitting in shadow, it is actually darker and bluer than its true color. On the poles of the gate, however, one of the surfaces is in direct sunlight, so it is actually brighter and more yellow than its true color. It is important to see objects' colors not as absolute, but as a scale that can be changed by the lighting around them. In this stage, I block out the general locations of where I want my little shrines to go. When painting areas of contrast, I paint in the dark areas and leave out the white space where it is light. You have to carefully sculpt the outline of the negative space to maintain its 3D shape. Unlike the other trees, this tree is very close to the viewer. A general rule I follow is that the closer something is, the greater the contrast. The shadows are darker, the highlights are brighter, and the color is generally more saturated. To do this, I keep the paint thick and not very watery, so that there is a lot of pigment. On the other hand, these trees are very distant, so there is hardly any contrast, and I dilute the paint with lots of water.
paint these little shrines, I just have to hint at the shadow surfaces and leave out the right negative space, and these little shrines will naturally take shape. To add in these lighter details on top, I mixed in a little bit of white to my base green. For my finishing touches, I'm adding in some cracks by painting lines with varying angles and widths. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please let me know down in the comments what you think. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these tutorials in the future.